Hello, and today I'm just going to show you another example of how jQuery can make your web development so much easier. All we're going to do is place a video player on our site using um, jQuery. Now, now, we're going to use something called jQuery Media, and this is also good because it's got a small footprint. Because all we have to do to our HTML markup is add uh, add a, a class of media to a link to a file that we want to have the player for, and it will automatically embed a player, so it won't it won't screw with a with our HTML. And it's it's a really nice flash player. So we're just going to get to it. I'm, I'm at jQuery.com here, and if you just go to the plugins. And that's the point. We're also learning how to use plugins. Uh, if you just go to the plugins and search for jQuery Media, you get taken through to, to where you can download the media plugin onto um, this web right here. <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of go put commando here, I don't have much, um, I don't have much ready for this, but, um, I'm just going to kind of wing it and do it with you. So, I've just got this simple jQuery demo page here, with a link that says QuickTime, and when I click that link, it goes to load a big video file. Um, but what we want to do is create, create a player for that video file using jQuery Media. So let's just dive in. There's a few things we're going to need. We're going to need the player jQuery Media and jQuery. I've just, this is my setup for this page. And as you can see, I've just linked, um, I've just linked jQuery from another place on my website so now we need to link the um, jQuery media plugin and it needs to be linked anywhere after our after our um, additional market so because because this is a test I'm actually um I was going to try and nick it but um it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to so we're just going to download the jQuery media plugin and we're also going to download a player of our choice so I'm just going to go over here sit download so it's uh, jQuerymedia.js and we can actually link, link, hot link this from our source. This is um, generally really bad practice, but because this is a demo, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and for the record, I'm not. I'm I'm working on my server live on my website, but because of the large footprint of the. Um, of the video file, not the jQuery stuff, but the, the video file on my server for bandwidth reasons. I'm going to remove it afterwards. Um, so it, it doesn't matter that I'm hot linking to all this stuff because I'm only going to be using it for a few minutes in the space of this video. Um, but that's really bad, you should download it to your server. So I'm not setting a terribly good example, but hey, I just wanted to do it quickly for de demo purposes, so there you go. So, so we've got our, um, we've got our file linked, um, and so we've linked the jQuery library, we've linked the plugin, and now once the plugin's loaded, we want to load our media player of choice. So, 
with them. And this might sound like a lot of JavaScript, but cons considering what you're doing, it's not a lot. And it has some really nice benefits. So we're just going to go back over to this main jQuery media site. And we're going to pick a player. There's several options here, but I'm just going to use mediaplayer.swf. And again, I'm going to... I'm gonna just hot link it. Um, the, the same, the same caveats apply as did last time, and as did last time, uh, those are the reasons why I'm, I'm doing it this way and not a better way. And it doesn't look like I got the actual raw file, so I'll just follow through the links. What you need is the actual SWF. And I might well have to download this one. So I'm just gonna download it. Um, and upload it to my server. Pay attention to the licensing because this actually does have licensing. Um, so I'm just gonna upload that to my server here. I was hoping not to have to link anything locally, but it's only one file I'm having to link locally. So. I guess can't complain and it's it's generally good practice to load jQuery from Google just as a side note so there's the we've already got jQuery media so we're just gonna upload the player and you could actually um, leave a lot of this stuff but all, all we're gonna do is um, upload the player and that should be all we need we can come back and upload more components if if we find it's necessary so I'm just gonna use a hand a little function of my no actually I won't bother So we should have everything we need to do loaded on our page. Now, what do we need to do to actually get this to load? We only need to do one thing, and that's to add a class to our link of um, media, or whatever you want. And then, as I keep forgetting, it's still jQuery, so we need to do the usual jQuery stuff, but other than the DOM ready, we only need one line of jQuery. Um, so 
So again, it could look like a lot of script files, but if you're already using jQuery already, then it's not it's not a massive footprint. So we're just gonna write our function. Give it no attributes and just begin our function. We're then gonna close it. And all we need to do is say whatever element you have, whatever ID you want to add to your files. But in my case I'm gonna do the usual um the thing that's um most uh jQuery media people do is say any element with a class of media and I believe I'll look back at thing but I believe the function that we need to perform is simply dot media yep and then it should detect what media it is And then that should be all we need to convert that link um, from just a link to an actual player. So let's see if we did any everything right. Let's go back over and refresh our page. We we do actually get a a player that is showing the video so that's how easy it is and it, again it's not it's not very well themed but at its core, at its core we've just converted a link uh, to a file from a link to a player using some very very simple jQuery and uh, I don't I've done some wrong things here. But if we just um inspect the original element, all it is is a thing with a class of media and that's all we've needed to um get this to display. So thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna go and delete this video now. Um and delete this page so I don't suck bandwidth but uh, yeah that's how to use the jQuery media um, plugin to uh, get a piece of media displaying on your site all you need is a link thanks for watching this video